What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. And a very mighty welcome to all the fellow decoders out there around the world, wherever you are. My name is Logan, and this is Decode Your Reality. And today, we're going to be breaking down and decoding the number 56, this massive number that many of you great decoders keep coming up with on your results and boy folks just when i thought i could not get a better presentation out on the world stage uh this one drops in my lap and let me tell you this one is going to blow your mind so as i say get strapped in throw on a pair of headphones this one i don't know how long it's going to go i always improv all of these but folks this one is the creme de la creme this one's rolling the red carpet out for you. I will show you and support once again that mankind is being used. We are food, energetic food for the gods, as the Greeks coined it, called ambrosia. We're living in a simulation, a movie. This reality is not real to whatever's observing it. It's real to us, but it's not real to whatever's observing this reality. Just like we have a so below, we become the, as a, uh, so, uh, the so below to something that is the as above. And it's fractals. This one is going to blow you blow away, folks. Please just watch this all the way to the end. I'll leave the timestamps of all the, uh, the, the topics as we go through these if you want to skip. But I promise you, the time you spend that you watch during this presentation or the time you spend watching this presentation will be well worth the time you spend on this presentation. I'm going to try to keep it moving rather quickly. Uh, I know a lot of you like to watch it in one and a half, two times the speed. So I'm going to try to keep it rather quickly. But what got me started on this, why I had the urge to do this is because of, of course, most of you know who Zach Hubbard is over at Gematria Effect News and Sports. And him and I, you know, obviously, uh, 
don't see eye to eye on the end result of how this the machinations of this world works but that's irrelevant point is is he came out with uh something in his community right here on his book and uh, mentioning of the number 56 i broke it down and decoded it and i showed the 56 showing up in his book where he didn't even see it there and i showed the organic code i know he's not against the organic code but i'm going to show you the entire reality that we live in is organic and i'm going to support that throughout this presentation and a big shout out to uh moby and the song uh that's that the great song off the movie heat if you haven't seen that movie uh i just love this song um but anyway just big shout out to moby and this here's the song here's the instrumental version of this song right here that is either playing or was playing in the background. I, like I said, I improv all this stuff, so I'm not sure. But nonetheless, folks, so let's get started with this. I'm going to blow you away, man. This one's, you're going to be draw on the floor, so just be prepared as I move through this presentation. So here are the topics of this 56 Decoded, and I do have one slide showing my methodology. So those of you that are new to this, uh, to this channel, welcome out. Those of you that are returning subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for your support. Um, so let's go Go through these uh <coughs> the titles here the topics that you say in the zero position it's going to be the intro which is what i'm doing now and i'm going to have one slide with the methodology number one it's organic number two daily 56 number three founder of the 56 number four the movie number five buffalo soldier Number six, Fibonacci 56. Number seven, Game Master. And then always love to hear what you see and your observational points. Number eight, what did you see? Keep your comments coming. Just keep them cordial. Don't be a dink. You know, if you don't agree with what I have to say, totally cool. You know, put down your support of what your opinion is and just call it a day, you know, but just no name calling and being retarded or anything like that. It's just uncalled for. Let's just keep it real here, folks. You know, these are my opinions and truths. So anyway, for those of you that are new and those of you that are returning subscribers that don't want to go through this, just look in the timestamp. It may not be up right away, but you'll be able to click on the first topic and go right to that. But here are my methods of decoding. I'm going to start right here. And these are in no particular order, but we use numerology. We start off with the spoken word. We speak the spells. We break it down with the numbers. And uh, the, obviously, there are many different ciphers. And most of you should know using it. I use Derek's website right here. My primary cipher is Chaldean, but he obviously has a lot of other ciphers here. They all right here. So it can get confusing. But this one right here, English, is using A through Z, 1 through 26. And the word Ra is the number number 19, which is interesting because we bring alchemy into this entire methodology, which is a big say in this. And it's the element radium has the abbreviation of Ra. And it's a very important element because it does have 88 protons. And that's a big deal in the decoding world. There's no place like home equals 88 tied to the Wizard of Oz. And it's all tied to the sun because you've got to follow the yellow brick road. But nonetheless, we go right back to numerology and we get into this word right here, Aurum. And Aurum is the Latinized spelling of the element element gold. That's why gold has the abbreviation of the AU and it's 19. And we bring the tarot into this after. Uh, and now we have another layer to observe from and we connect the dots. And this is the 19th card in the tarot matching the Aurum 19 matching Ra. And Ra is the sun god. So obviously you can see how important the tarot is in the decoding world. So I would encourage you to use the tarot as much as you can to find more gold nuggets throughout your decoding research. And of course, the sun is tied to the element gold. Gold is the sun. So we have alchemy, we have tarot, we have numerology. Let's keep going. We know that the sun is a battery. Most decoders now know this through the research that we've all been doing. Battery is a 19, matching Orem and Ra. And we know that the sun is the master, the game master. I have that title during this presentation at the very end. I'm going to be breaking that 
that down. It's the master. Master 19, battery 19. Sun card. The sun card is the 19. Tied to Aurum, the Latinized spelling of gold. And then the starting point is Ra, which is radium. So the sun god Ra, all the way back to ancient Egypt. We go way past Rome. So all leads don't, all roads do not lead to Rome. They lead actually to ancient Egypt, and it's going to go even farther than that. So we need to stop saying all roads lead to Rome. I'm, I've even been said this before, but it, it goes far beyond Rome. I can tell you that. But nonetheless, let's keep going. We bring in another layer, which is called pure math and the string of pi. You can type in any number into the string of pi and find out where these decimals appear. If you just go to this website right here, it's called sabidium.com and you can just type in any number that you want and you're going to be able to find once you hit that submit button where that number appears. It's going to occupy two, two digits, but it's only going to give you the first one. So the 19 appears the 37th decimal digit, 37 and 38. That's important. And then we can bring another layer into this, the cards of illumination. And this is the typical deck you play poker and blackjack and go fish and gin rummy and spades and hearts and all those fun games that you probably played at least one time in your life these have much more meaning than just playing a game there are 52 cards matching the 52 weeks of the year there are four suits matching the four seasons and each suit has 13 cards the ace through king matching the 13 weeks that make up each of the four seasons so these are highly accurate in describing our reality and they are highly accurate when you use these in decoding. So here is the 37th card in the deck. It's the Jack Diamonds card. And this card right here is known as the Jack in the Box card. As I, as you watch my other decodes, you're going to see how important this Jack is. It's the Jack. Jack in the Beanstalk. Jack this. Jack that. You'll start to see a lot of Jacks in the movies. And this is the very reason why it's Jack and Jill. And I have a decode out on Jack and Jill. I would highly encourage you watching that decode. That one will blow your socks off on exactly why we're here as the male and female, the Jack and Jill. And then last but not least, we have the 52 cards of the medicine deck. These cards came out in 1988. Jamie Sames and the company that built these cards and brought them out onto the world stage. And these, of course, are their own representations of the cards of illumination. And instead of symbols and, and uh, the jacks and the queens and the kings, <coughs> excuse me, it has animals, insects, and reptiles. And of course, 19 is the buffalo. And I'm sure they did that because they knew the sun and the tarot was 19. And the most reverent animal in the Native American tradition is the mighty buffalo. And that's why I have the topic, the buffalo soldier. And I'm going to be getting into that. I'm going to show you how scripted this reality is and how all these people that were contributing to make all these cards, the Rider weight deck and you know, science and who discovered these elements and the cards of illumination. These have been around for like the 12th, 13th century, a long, long, long time. And then math, of course, as who knows how long the string of pi has been around, but nonetheless, this is pure mathematics and we get into really describing this reality and we can blend all these layers together and then some to discover this reality and how it works. So these are the methods, some of the methods that I use and blend together and synchronize to show you that our reality is completely scripted. Mankind is being used and once something gets developed, it just gets uploaded into the, the matrix, if you will, or nature and it automatically combines with what was already written out in the script. It's all predestination. It's all organic. Now, maybe Maybe when you say, well, what do you mean it's all organic? Everything I do is organic. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say if you decide to go have a, a pizza, that it's organic. I believe we do have some free will. But I believe this reality is completely scripted and predestined. I'm going to support that throughout this presentation. So let's get into this first topic. It's organic. And I want to start off with Zach and I. Uh, if you don't, again, if you don't know who Zach is, please go, please go support his work. Um, he's over at uh, Gematria Effect News. And here he is right here, the Gematria Effect News 22. Now he breaks down stuff that I don't really break down the mainstream because I don't want to give the mainstream any kind of energy. But that's what his responsibility and job is. That's what he feels like he wants to do. Do. 
and we'll go have at it, as I've said to him. But nonetheless, why did we come together? Why are we, we're doing a podcast on the next Sunday on the 20th. Why? Why are we here together doing these things? He's been decoding since 2013, myself around the same time. He's been doing it on YouTube a lot longer than I have. But nonetheless, we're two decoders in the decoding world, and we bring a lot of content to the stage. And so why are we coming together? And what does the 56 have to do with him and I? Folks, get ready to have your doors, uh, your doors, your doors, your doors blown off here with what I'm about to show you. So Zach was born on July 21st, 1983. I was born on February 4th, 1973. If you take 21 and you bring the four together, it's right here. The 1307 is the 214th prime number. The, we bring alchemy into this. The 56 element barium has an atomic weight of 137. You can clearly see the connections and not trying to fudge anything, trying, not trying to fake a square peg in a round hole. You just drop that zero. There it is. The 137 is right there. It's a permutation right there with the 137 and that's a match of our birthdays. So that's just a starting point. What about if we move them the other way around? I was born in 73. I was born first, Zach, in 83, 10 years later. So it's the 421. And of course, 421 is a prime number, not just any prime number. It's the 82nd prime number. Those of you that have been paying attention, of course, it's le it leads to Prison Planet. Please go watch my decodes. Prison Planet 1, 2, and 3. I have probably part 4 coming out, showing you that it's all about alchemy and the energetic exchange of lead to gold. It's lead to gold down here in this reality, and what you're worth is your currency. It's the currency of the energetic display that you give off through your emotions and what you do in your life, but nonetheless, there it is. Zach and I coming together, we form that element lead 207 of course the word currency equals 27 and there it is there's the 207 tied to the prison planet if those of you that have been paying attention that 207 is a big big deal but nonetheless let's keep going how about if we bring the 56 into the string of pi and measure that 56 well 56 appears at digit 210 and 211 and when you add up 210 and 211 you're going to get 421 and what is 421 folks it's our freaking birthday it's our birthdays. 421 is my birthday and Zach's birthday brought together, giving us the 82nd element. It's lead, it's prison planet, and it's tied to the number 56. How do you wrap your mind around this? I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started. This is just warming up. But how are we to describe this other than what I'm showing? This is completely organic, folks. And then you have to ask yourself, you owe yourself, where do you draw the line to decide what's organic and what's not organic? How do we make that distinguishment? And is there an argument or a debate or philosophizing against it's just all organic? I know a lot of you may not want to agree with that, but there's no way to prove either case. But what I am supporting is that this is organic code right here. There's no way to prove that it's not, that it's not organic, but I can support that it is. And here it is right there with Zach and I. So let's keep going on this 421. I've decided to look at the date on the calendar. What is April 21st, 421? And what number on the calendar is it? On the Gregorian calendar, it's the 111th day of the year. 111, if you follow the occult and, you know, secret society kind of stuff, here's the magic square of the sun. Magic square of the sun is 666, but its containment is through six rows of 111. Anytime you see that 111, it's tied to the sun. So going right back to the sun again, and Zach and I, and it's led to gold. The sun is, the sun is gold. Gold. And then Zach and I make up the lead. So it's lead to gold. And are we just being used to find the code? Follow the yellow brick road. I think this stuff's kind of undeniable. I don't know how else you'd even try to describe this. Here's more support for what I'm showing you. Here's my birthday to his birthday on the calendar. I was born on February 4th, 1973. I was born on a Sunday. He was born on a Thursday, Thor's Day, July 21st, 1983. It's 3,819 days. I'm going to fact check that into the string of pi. Look at what number it comes out at. The 196 decimal digit, 196, 197, 198, 199, 199 is a big number in itself tied to Yahweh, but there it is. It's gold, folks. 196 is the weight of gold. A gold here, a go with the sun and gold there, lead right there. 
How are you to wrap your mind around what I'm showing? This is straight up OG organic. And I don't know how you would distinguish organic from not being organic. How about if you just do the days on the calendar and just not use the years, just February to July, it's 167 days. You want to talk about being dialed into the code with the 56, Zach and I coming together. I think I can appreciate and respect this much more than I'm giving credit for, but we go into the string of the golden ratio. So we can measure through the strings of pi, but how about the golden ratio, which is the Fibonacci sequence, which is tied to the patterns of the sun. That's why it's called the golden ratio. The number 56 is found at the 30th and 31st decimal digit. So here it is right here, all added up 1.618 all the way. And here's that 56 right there. This is digit 30 and 31. When you add them all up, you get 167. There's the 56. And what is 167? Folks, where do we draw the line? Where do we draw the line? So obviously you can see Zach and I were supposed to be decoding reality. I think, and I think if he sees this, we're supposed to be coming together. We're supposed to try to get along and figure this thing out. Set our differences aside. But this is complete organic code right here. This is undeniable, complete organic code. This is not, I'm not trying to fudge anything. I'm certainly not trying to pull the woolly over your eyes or try to mock you. It's a straight up organic code you're seeing right here. And I just found this just two days ago. And how about this? When you say the word 56, it equals 31. And there's the 31 found in the string of the golden ratio. You're not gonna find this. This is why Chaldean to me is the top dog cipher. Not saying the other ones don't have merit, but Chaldean is number one. If you're not using it in your decoding and your research, I'm gonna highly suggest that you do. It's right there. 56 is 31. I got more to show you with this, but this is the organic code staring you in the face, talking to you showing you what's going on. And you can find stuff in your life with people that you know, and I do it all the time. But this right here was huge to find between Zach and I, huge. And now I know what we have to do. I don't know what's gonna happen or what's gonna be made of it, but now I know. And I hope he has a lot more respect for the organic side of it anyway. I know he does, but nonetheless, I just, there's no other way to explain it. Where do we draw the line on the organic versus not being organic? It's all organic. Everything's being controlled remotely from something beyond the physical reality. I'm gonna keep supporting that throughout this presentation. That's just for starters. So if you were blown away then, wait till I got way more to blow you away with. So let's get into the second topic, daily 56, the daily. And so... What happens in our daily lives with the 56? I only have a few slides. <coughs> Credit goes to, this was on social media. This is uh, on my Facebook page, Tap TPT. Showed this in the um, comments when I posted 56 decoded coming soon. And he put the Time Magazine and how COVID ends 56. Well, of course, it, 56 means movie. It means simulation. It ends just like a movie ends. That's what this means. How about in sports? The most popular sport on the world stage is soccer. It's the most popular. Out of any sport, it's soccer. And there's the 56 on the soccer ball. On the left, you have the pentagram or the pentagon. And then on the right, you have the hexagon, the six-sided polygonal, five-sided polygonal. Of course, five means man. Five is the son of man. And it's the black and the white, the checkerboard. And lo and behold, it's the 69 when you do the numerology of that. This is important because 69, when you go to numerology, it's called the Royal Star of the Lion. 23 is the Royal Star of the Lion. That's what you call it. It's 69. There it is. Tied to the 56. So we break down the 56, oops, even more. And we have the single uh, elements, boron and carbon, five and six which of course reduces down to a number 11. 56 is the 11. 11 is sodium, which reduces down to helium, which is from the sun. And we're going to get into that. We're called this. Jesus said, we're the salt of the earth. Sodium, one of the three major uh, elements in alchemy, mercury, sodium, if you're a fan of alchemy. But if you add these up, boron and carbon, you're going to get 23. That's the royal star of the lion in numerology. And again, 69 is the royal star of the lion when you do the numerology in Chaldean, 69. 
So there it is, folks. This is all organic. Man did not code this. Man is not coding this. Man is just simply following the blueprint. It's too many moving parts. All right, so let's get into some stuff I know you've never seen before. This was a lot of fun. I found this just not too long ago. I'm like, I wonder what the conversion is of Kelvin, because the sun is measured in Kelvin. The sun has a big part in running this reality. It runs the stock markets, it runs cryptocurrency, it runs mankind. That's why it's revered in religion, and the church, and nature, and paganism. And the sun is the source of light. But I decided to do the conversion. It's measured in Kelvin, the temperature. What is 56 Kelvin? 358 point. And when you round up, it's going to be 359. 359 is the 72nd prime number. And boy, did I have fun with this. Because here comes the Jesuits. The Jesuits are a group of individuals. They're called soldiers of God. The soul is the sun. They work for the sun. The sun runs them. They may be acting out the things on the world stage. They are owned. They are little puppets on strings. They're little pawns. I wish people would stop using the word elites because that's what they, the least, far, that's farthest thing from what they are. They're just actors. Yeah, they may do some nasty stuff on the world stage, but they're just being used to do it and they're being owned and operated by the sun so we bring alchemy to get the bridge to all this and we get this element germanium coming from germany and there is the 32 32 protons how many rays on this logo 32 so obviously their logo tells you straight up it's the sun it's our 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 logo is the sun hello pretty easy and then you got the IHS, which is the 153 tied to the fish and the Christ story. That's why you have the, the, the nails there and the cross. But it's the 72nd prime number from the conversion of temperature. We find the Jesuits. Of course, Society of Jesus is 56. Zach talks about that all the time. But these people are being used. So let's keep going just to support that. They're a huge proponent of Jesus. And Jesus phonetically can be spelled with the G-E. You can spell out Jesus with the periodic table. Germanium sulfur, uranium sulfur. Going over to the trusty calculator and adding that up, you get 374.779. That's a direct match to the word God, the G-O-D. There it is, 374 in the Chaldean. And then when you add up the protons... 32 plus 16 plus 92 plus 16, you're going to get 156. 911 is the 156 prime number. So this character is not what you think it is. I can assure you that. It's not. Those of you that are fans, it's not what you think it is. And these people right here are tied directly to it. Through mathematics and the conversion of temperature from the source of the sun. But wait, there's more. So when we do the numerology of germanium, found from the prime and the conversion of Kelvin to Fahrenheit, starting with the 56 in the sun, you get the 31, which is a direct match once again to the spelling numerically of 56. It's 31. So we know that these elements on the periodic table have a huge, huge, huge say in all this to figure this code out right there staring you in the face so if you really go and study the society of jesus i would encourage all of you to do it please go research and read about this society and again i'm not taking anything away from the bad that is done in the world of what that even looks like but we go all the way back to the beginning when you go read about the spiritual exercises of ignatius you're going to read about the good and bad spirits, the good and evil spirits. You can go read about this stuff. Here they are. And it's tied to the 72 angels and demons. You have the angels on the left side right here. Let me just kind of zoom in so you can see. But here are the angels. It's kind of blurry now. But you have the angels on the left and the demons on the right. It's the push-pull. So it's running this reality from the sun. So 72 
plus 72 is 144, and there's you get your 144,000. And it's directly tied to germanium. 32 is the protons, 32 are the rays in their logo. It's the sun, folks. That's not even a secret. That's pretty easy, but it's tied to the angels and demons. So when we bring this germanium into the string of the golden ratio, we started with the measurements of the sun and the conversion from Kelvin into Fahrenheit. Now we're going to just go right to straight into the golden ratio, the 1.61, and just go measure that in. So the 72 is found at the 37th decimal digit, 37 and 38 of the golden ratio. And that is tied to those of you that have been following along. Those of you that are new, you may not know this unless you go study my prison planets. This is the loop. This is the incarnation, reincarnation process. This right here, folks, and I say maybe, possibly, so people don't think I'm just saying it is absolute. I'm not using absolutes. This could be the incarnation, reincarnation process where the loop that you never get out of. You just change avatars. A lot of movies and books and authors and that they say this. So there is merit to it. But there it is, 193746. This is the loop I found. This is an anomaly found in Pi. There it is, tied to the golden ratio, tied to the 72 angels and demons, found from Germanium, and it's tied to the Society of Jesus. Tied to angels and demons, and of course, the originis, origination is the sun, 56 Kelvin, right there. And Jesus is in there. Can't escape that. So when we bring into the string of pi, how about the number 32 in the string of pi? We went the 72 in the string of the golden ratio. Where's the 32 found in the string of pi? Well, it occupies digits 15 and 16. Get out your calculators. Pretty simple math. 15 and 16 equals 31, and there's your 56. You see how closely, tightly woven this code is right here? Man could never code this. Sure, you can become aware of it. But I, before I even became aware of it, man, it was, it was using me. It's organically using me personally. And I work for the good guys if I had to pick a side, like Team Yoda, Team Darth Vader. Obviously, I work for the good side, the good guys. Just leave me alone. Let me do me. I'm not trying to hurt, hurt anybody. I'm not out killing anybody. But the organic code uses me. And what, there's no exception with these people. None. They're just doing their job. You may not like it. I don't like it either on some of the stuff they do. They're doing their job. If you feel like your job is to go expose them and protest, then go do that. Somebody has to do it. But nonetheless, you can clearly see this code is organic. And this is the script, the HTML code written into the game of life and the fabric of life. And this is coming from nature now too as well, the alchem alchemical elements. This is real science. These are real tangible things measured in laboratory. These aren't fake. Some of them are artificial, but germanium's not. And there's barium right there. So barium's tied into the 72 angels and demons, which is tied into the game of life, which is tied into lights, camera, action, and us being in a movie, and so on and so forth. Let me keep going. If your jaw wasn't on the floor already, here's more information I'm going to give you to keep going with this presentation. Here's the founder of the 56. It's Humphrey Davy. This guy was being used. He's not trying to mock you. He's not trying to screw you over or pull the wool over your eyes, folks. And I'm not, I'm not saying that towards any one person. I'm just, that's just me being me. No one's mocking you. People are just living their life, doing their code. It's survival of the fittest down here for sure. But this dude right here, Humphrey Davy is his name. He's got a 43 for his numerology. And lo and behold, what is it? It's a prime number. It's the 14th prime number. It's matched to the 14th card, the Ace Clubs. And guess what December 17th is in the Cards of Illumination. Let me go to that. Here's the boilerplate chart for the Cards of Illumination. We go right here to December and we come down to the 14th and... Well, actually, wait a minute, folks. 17th, excuse me. The 17th. You've gone on to the 17th, December 7th. I'm like, wait a minute, do I get an error here? The 17th, there it is, the Ace Clubs card. So there he is. He's got the 14 to, tied to his birth card, tied to his numerology. You're not going to find these combinations using any other ciphers, folks. Chaldean is the top dog, tied to numbers and prime numbers and the cards of illumination and alchemy. And this guy found, he discovered barium. He discovered it. And look how tightly woven this guy is. What about his name? Humphrey is a 31, 56 is 31, the element that the guy found. He's not trying to mock you or screw you over. 
Folks, this guy was being used to find the element barium. And then when you go into the tarot to get a picture, we think in pictures. Here's the 43rd card in the tarot deck using the Fool is card 22. It's the Seven of Cups. And this card is all about choices and imagination and daydreaming and fantasies and illusions. Because we live in the wor a world of fantasies and illusions. This is the game of life right here. It's all illusionary. And this guy right here was born with his numerology tied to it? Are you serious? Folks, this guy's life was completely predestined and scripted, just like mine, just like yours, just like everybody else. And if we bring the medicine cards into this, it's the spider card, card 43. We live in the web. We live inside the web, the matrix. We live under the web. I mean, the World Wide Web, we created that. Folks, this guy was being used to find Barium and his birth is no exception. His first name is tied to the 31 and tied to the 56. Come on, where do you draw the line? This is organic code staring you in the face. This guy's not trying to mock you, folks. So going beyond that, we go down the hill. We go to Barium and 56, and then there's another element that has the 56, and it's this element right here, one of the stable isotopes. These elements have many isotopes. You just gotta know what you're looking for, but it's this element right here that's a very important one because it's the 26 element, the iron element, and it has an atomic weight of 56. 26 is tied to iron and our, the reason why I have the blood splatter because what do we have in our blood? We have iron in our blood. So what is this telling us? It's telling us we come down and we incarnate through the lights, camera, action, which I'm going to be showing, and we incarnate into a physical vessel, and we play out our role here as good little actors and actresses on the world stage. It's all theater. If you take 56 and you add 26 to it, you're going to get 82. It's lead, and lead to gold, and I already showed that with Zach and I, but it's lead to gold down here, folks. That's exactly what this is telling all of us. Barium to iron, iron to lead, and then we go back to gold, which is the sun. That's what this means. And remember, the yod heh vah -Heh's 26 has a big say in all this. A big say, which could be the sun itself. So let's get into the, the, the barium and a little bit more of alchemy and going back to the 56 appearing at the 30th and 30, 31st decimal digit, going right back to the 15th element. Phosphorus has an atomic weight of 30. And what is phosphorus otherwise known as? It's the light bringer and it's linked to Lucifer. The, think about what I'm showing you. A movie has a light project, has a projector and the light comes out of it. What does the sun having come out of it? Lucifer is the sun. I know a lot of people think Lucifer is Venus, but it ain't Venus. It's the sun. That's why it's the sun devil. That's why Lucifer is known as the devil. And this is a perfect example of how to properly decode and connect these dots like this. So getting to that 56, this was a big deal right here. This is another anomaly that I found in the string of pi. 56 is 31. Where is the 56? Oh, I'm sorry, where is the 31 found in the string of pi and the golden ratio? Folks, look at this. This is an anomaly that I found. They both are found at the 137, 138th decimal digit. Both of them, both 31 in the string of the pi and the string of the golden ratio, 137, 137 is the weight, the average weight of barium, 137 is the 33rd prime number, fifth, starting from the 56. Folks, this is a big freaking deal. That's why you should be using the string of pi and the string of golden ratio to do your decoding in. Let's get into the next topic, the movie, because that's what we're in. We're in a movie. When you see 56, it should remind you you're in a a movie. You're in a simulation and we incarnate and we become entertainment for the gods, whatever that looks like. And the original spelling of barium comes from the Greek word baris. And here it is through the Greek using the original Greek now. This is going to reduce down, but here it is. It's the 64, bringing it right back into alchemy. The 64th element is called gadolinium. And there's your story of the fish and the Christ, 153 fish talked about in the New Testament. Of course, there's the fish right there with the DNA and the double helix. It's our DNA. It's telling you, you incarnate, you end up incarnating it into a human vessel and you end up, it's, it's fishing. We're, we're being fished. And we're living inside of a movie. This element, when you go to the Royal Society of Chemistry, 
The periodic table, here it is. And you go to the 64th element, all these elements have little pictures and captions. There it is. It's the television screen. And the reason why, when you go down to the uses and properties, it's going to tell you the image reflects the past use of the ele element in television screens. So how very fitting that barium 56, the original breakdown numerology-wise is the 64. It's telling you we're living inside of a movie, folks. It's not real. It's a simulation. Stop guy. We, we, you know, people pay too much attention to the static on the world stage and that's what keeps it alive. So it's all about lights, camera, action. 56 means we're living in a movie, which of course reduces down to the number two. I'm going to be getting into that. We're living into a lights, camera, action. 56. Society of Jesus equals 56. They're in a movie. They're actors. Don't give them so much credit. So what about the word barium? 56. Barium is 16. Just like the word dream. Are we really in a dream state from the cosmos? Has the cosmos got us in its dream? I think it's works something like that. I'm getting really into my work is leading him into lucid dreaming, which equals 42. 42 is a big number. Life, the universe, everything. I watched the movie Vanilla Sky and it had lucid dreaming all over it. And that equals the number 42. But there it is. And, you know, lights is 19. That's the sun card. Camera is 16, tied to the dream and barium and coming down here and becoming man. And then action is the 21, tied to Saturn, tied to the world card in the tarot. But this has so much meaning right here, just what I'm showing you. And are we living in a dream? Is that really, why do we go to sleep? Why do we have two awake and asleep? Why do we have a sleep and dream states? Why do we have two? What the heck's that for? No one's been able to successfully uh, describe that just other than we go to sleep and we wake up. But obviously many of you know the 137 is the 33rd prime number. How about that 33? Because 33 is a big number. Well, now you know, folks, this is what it's tied to. It's tied to barium because 33 in the golden ratio is found at digits five and six. There's the 56. Yeah, your jaw should be on the floor. This is pure organic code, folks. Mankind did not create this code. There are too many moving parts for everybody be, to be in on the conspiracy, all the athletes and the actors and the actresses and too many people that consciously would have to be in on the conspiracy. No way possible. People are being used. Life gets in the way. Life is troublesome as it is. It's very busy to try to code something, let alone live your life. So going further into this 56, it's the 31. We also have this element right here. It's called sulfur. It's element 16. Sulfur has an average atomic weight of 32.06. 32 is tied to germanium and the Society of Jesus. Again, the rays of the sun. But 16 is tied to the word hell, which is what we're all in. You're in the hell regions and you're trying to make heaven out of it it's got some beautiful parts to it but we're in hell we're in hell of course you know lucifer plays a big role with this and then we have camera 16 so we have lights the sun here's the sun 19 camera 16 yeah the camera taking the picture of hell and everybody down here and then you get the action 21 and it's actually 173, which is a permutation of the 137, which is right there. It's right there. You can't miss this stuff, folks. It's right there. They're both inside this box right here. Barium means we're in a movie. We're in a simulation. We're in hell. So let's keep going and break down the cards of illumination just to give you more support on how the machinations of this reality works. So we have the 19 with lights. We have camera with 16, action with 21. Here are the cards that sync up with that. It's the six clubs, the three clubs, the eight clubs. Card 19, 16, and 21. And that is the six, the three, and the eight. We go into the string of the golden ratio. We put that six, three, eight in there. And lo and behold, look at where number pops up. It's the freaking 31. 31 is tied to spelling out of 56. Folks, do you see how many layers we involve with this? How, mankind could never code this. This is an organic code. This is an organic code. I've decoded so many people, places, and things, man. They'd all have to be in on it. And it's just not possible. And I would have to be in on it because I'm being used by the code. And I'm not trying to pull the wool over your eyes or mock you. I'm trying to show you how the code works. So we can even look at the real subtlety kind of things. We can look at the element barium. 
And you know, here it is. If you go to the periodic table, I'm going to show, I'm going to go right back to it, but you go to barium. Here's barium right here. And it's interesting because this is all about swallowing a meal and going down into the pits of hell. But here are the oxidation states and isotopes right here. It gives you the, uh, the most common oxid, the most common isotopes. So here is 137.905. And then it has the abundance of it, the percentage of it. And look at what this one has. 71.698% is the abundance of 137.905 right there, which is the 33rd prime number. And the subtlety here, when you go and bring this even further, 71 is the 20th prime number. And what is 20 linked to? Duality. So this is telling you, ladies and gentlemen, that when you enter into this barium realm, you go down into the hole and you come down and incarnate into a human vessel. And, the, and you know, if you read the Upanishads, the, the, the Upanishads, the ancient texts of the Vedas, they're going to tell you that we're all incarnations of the architect. All of us. It's playing out its own game. That's what they say. So what about the 71? Well, it's tied to lutetium, which is one of Lucifer's elements. What is Lucifer known as? Phosphorus. What is phosphorus? The light bringer. It's the sun, folks. It's Lucifer, the sun coming down and becoming man. And the Christ is in there somehow, some way. We all come down and we experience duality. 56 is lights, camera, action. Look at these words that equal the number 20. You want to talk about being used? That's right. Jesuits, being used. Freemasons, being used. Down here in duality. Because they're all pawns playing out the game of chess. And the word chess equals 19. That's tied to the sun. The sun is the 19. Sun is 19. The sun runs the game of chess. These people are being used. Don't get it twisted. Don't try to give them more credit. They're just actors. That's it. Everybody's an actor. I'm not, I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not bashing anybody. I'm simply giving you the measurements of the research that I have found using, and again, this is just one cipher. Do you know how hard it is? You try, you can't, you, I'm not mixing and matching here. One cipher to get the machinations of how this world works. What about the tarot? The 56 card of the tarot, using the fool as card 22, it's the six swords tied to barium. What does this card mean? It means travel, journey, transition, transition, transitioning from a spirit to physical matter. That's what this is telling all of us right here. You can't mess this up, folks. This is all about incarnation and reincarnation, transition from spirit to matter to play the game of life. Go watch Squid Game. I decoded uh, um, the, the Omi Omicron decoded. It's got Squid Game in there, folks. We're, we're playing out a game. That's all we're doing. So this Six of Swords was found originally from the Six of Spades. These cards came first, cards of illumination. This is card 45, and it's a match to Pandora's Box. How very fitting, because if you go study the Greek mythology of Pandora's Box, it's, it's the shitstorm down here in hell that we're playing out. It's the crazy loony bin that we're playing out when you, get incar when you come here and incarnate. It's right there. The transition from spirit to matter, we enter into Pandora's box, we enter the shitstorm. And 45, when you see the number 45, please go watch my Architect of the Universe Part 1. I showed it's the center piece, it's the rhodium, and this is tied to the Rosicrucians. This is the rose that gives the bees honey. It's the R, and it could even be tied to the RH blood, but it's the 102 in reverse of the 201. 45 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to 9. Those 9 numbers in Mat Saturn's magic square is 1 plus 2 all the way to 9. That's 45. This is Saturn's magic square. We're living inside Saturn's magic square, otherwise known as Pandora's box. We transition from the spirit to matter, folks. That's exactly what this is telling us. So keep your eyes on this right here, because now we're going to get into the next topic called Buffalo Soldier. And that's right, we're going to get into some Bob Marley, because a lot of people asked me to decode this, and I had no plans on decoding him, but it just so happens that he showed up, and he's part of the 56 clan. So, you know, you got to ask your question, does this guy... Does he work for the Society of Jesus because his name equals 56? Where do we draw the line? I mean, the word Fruit Loops equals 56. The word shit equals 56. I mean, how are you to figure that out from just using numerology? Folks, you can't. It's watered down. This guy, I highly doubt he was a Jesuit or a, a work for the Society of Jesus. I doubt it. He, this is one of the greatest musicians of all time. 
died at the very young age of 36. His name is 56 in the Chaldean. So let's break him down. Let me show you how this guy was being used, the Buffalo soldier. Here's his birth card, folks. His birth card on February 6th is the six spades card, card number 45, as I just showed, tied to Pandora's box. Let me show you. February, here it is. And then February 6th, there it is, the six spades card. That is Bob Marley's birth card. And it's tied to the 56 card in the tarot. He's tied to Barium, lights, camera, action. He's a star, a star, a singing star. We're all stars down here. Movie star, rock star. What kind of star are you? Or are you just an extra in somebody else's movie? So here's his uh, February 6th birthday. It's the 37th day of the year. 37 is tied to the Jack Diamonds. They're going right back to Jack and Jill. This is the Jack in the Box card being stuck in the box. 37 tied to the 1937-46 uh, loop of incarnation and reincarnation. And this is the element that's tied to 37. It's rubidium and rubidium. When you go to the Royal Society of Chemistry, they use this little picture right here. They use icons for all of it. It's the photos. It's the, the, all, the electric eye, it's called, because it's used for photo cells, but we know what this means. It's the all-seeing eye. It's tied to the sun, folks. This guy was working for the sun, entertainment for the sun. That's what it means. And he's a Buffalo soldier. Let me just show you how in-depth this guy was and how coded he was. One of the greatest singers of all time, noted as in many, many different Rolling Stone and all those. So here is his birth to death card. He was born on February 6th. He died on May 11th. This is a big deal, 11-5, tied to the sun in Leo. But here it is right here. And he has that six spades, the 45th card, and then here's his death card, the 11th of May. Let me just show you that just so we can be very crystal clear. Here is May, and then here is the 11th. It's the eight diamonds card, card 34. And there it is, the two cards side by side. And when you add those up, 45 plus 34, get out your calculators. Very simple math. You're going to get 79, which is gold. The sun And there we go. There's the sun. More sun reference. 19. Aurum. When you see 19, it's the sun. It's the Latinized version of Aurum. And here's the sun card in the tarot. 19th card in the deck. And you add up this guy's, two, this guy's birth cards, and he's got the sun. How about that? I mean, was he, was he from the Jesuits? Was he a Jesuit? I, come on, folks. Where do you draw the line? How about this right here? He had a song called Buffalo Soldier. And here's the Buffalo card, the 19th card. Again, it's tied to the sun. So when he says Buffalo Soldier, he means sun soldier. And there is the word sun right in soldier. I mean, the Society of Jesus say they're soldiers of God. And I know the 25 is big. 25 is tied to manganese and, of course, perhaps the reincarnation, incarnation process. But how very fitting that the word yellow equals 25. What's the color of the sun primarily? The word adversary equals 25 in the Chaldean only. And the magic square of the sun right there is the beast above our heads and we are the beast below. And, and to, to kind of put the nail in the coffin, he passed away at the age of 36, died of cancer. 36 is the last number in the magic square of the sun. 36 is Krypton tied to the operating system as I showed in my previous decode on the Wizard of Oz. Folks, this is completely organic. And there's no other way to describe what I'm showing you. This guy was a singer and he worked for the unity of the world, trying to make the world a better place. He was being Team Yoda, being the good guy. Yet he passes on a 36, which is tied to the sun, the magic square of the sun. This guy was being used by the sun, Buffalo Soldier. So let's get into the Game Master. I think this is my last topic. No, I actually have two more topics left. So Game Master, let's get into the Game Master. And here it is, it's the sun. This is what runs this reality along with the moon and, of course, the zodiac signs. That Those have a lot to say with everything, and the cards of illumination are tied to that. They're all just kind of trickle down. It's all fractals. But here it is. And the sun's mass is consisting of primarily hydrogen and helium. And there's the dead giveaway. 56. So when you see 56, and I know, you know, it equals a lot of words. It equals Fruit Loops. Does that mean that fruit? Does that mean the Society of Jesus equals Fruit Loops? Do they sit down and have a bowl of Fruit Loops every day because Fruit Loops equals fifty-six? Folks, we can have fun with this, but just understand one thing: it's not man running this show. Mankind is being used. 
And the sun has a big say in this. So here's hydrogen and helium right there, one and two. And there's the 21, and that's where you're going to get your 201. And 201 is tied to Mercury. Mercury has an atomic weight of 201. Mercury is the best friend of the sun, the communicator. But let's get into some astrology now tied into alchemy and the tarot. So hydrogen and helium are the two main elements that make up the sun. I mean, their hydrogen's 32. That's the rays of the Society of Jesus' logo. That should tell you everything. And hydrogen is 1.008. Jesus and Christ is 18 in numerology. Pretty easy to see. But nonetheless, when you add up hydrogen and helium, you get the 5.011. And 5 and 11 are the two houses in astrology opposite of one another. You get Aquarius at 11, Leo at 5. And these astrology signs all have rulers. Guess what runs Leo, the sun, the sun runs Leo. So there you go. That's kind of undeniable. And then the fifth card in the tarot is the hierophant. This is the Pope. So it's the sun in mankind form. It's the sun in an avatar, the hierophant. That's why he carries the gold staff with the gold sun on top of it. Right there. It's the pledge to the sun. And just a little subtlety, the 511. Look at what day that Bob Marley passed away on. 11 5. 11 5. Hydrogen and helium. His name is 56. Hydrogen and helium is 56. And the main constructs of the sun are hydrogen and helium being 56. When we add the alchemy, we break it down. Folks, this is all organic code staring you in the face. And mankind's not coding this. Mankind is being used. Anytime someone creates a card deck, it instantly was supposed to get created. Because it's the sun and the stars and the moon using mankind to play out this game of life. So what about the 67 and holmium? Kind of funny because, you know, Zach, if you're watching, is Zachary Keith Hubbard equals 67. Zach works for the sun. It doesn't mean I might not want to admit that, but he works for the sun. Sun owns him. But nonetheless, there's the 67 Holmium. And the 67 is the 19th prime number. The 19th card in the tarot is the sun. Hydrogen and helium is 164. That's a match of 164, the weight of holmium. This, by the way, just so you know, if you study alchemy, the holmium is the most magnetic element on the entire periodic table. The most magnetic, of course, because the sun is the most magnetic. And there it is. 164, 164, and 67 is the 19th prime, 19th card in the tarot is the sun. Right there, staring us in the face, all organic. And then we get to the death card. Why the death card? Because 67 reduces down to the 13. Six plus seven is 13, and there's the death card. And it's the 19 and the 13. And why that is, is because you see Game Master, which is what the title of this topic is, is a 13 and a 19. Game is 13, and Master is 19. 13 is tied to the number 79 in the string of pi. If you go search for that, you're going to find that. But it's the death of the sun, the sun death, right there. And this is, you know, this is what we all face down here as being an incarnated vessel. And it's the master that runs everything. And it's the 32. So don't get it twisted, folks. Don't think just because the Jesuits have a 32 uh, Ray Sun logo on their, on their logo, don't, don't think they're the game masters. No, 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 no. They're just playing out their role. Stop giving them energy. Stop paying attention to them. Everything survives off of acknowledgement and energy. And there's their logo, 32 rays. There it is. They're not the game masters, I can tell you that. So how about this guy? And just to support more of mankind being used, I have a decode on this guy coming out right here. I'm working on it right now. Just, to, I mean, one of the most prolific uh, stories and just the, the trial and how much money was spent. It was just insane how much energy went to this dude and everybody that surrounded him. This guy had a prolific career in football and he always wore the number 32 all the way back. I went all the way back to when he played in high school. He had the 32 for his jersey. Folks, did he pick that jersey number? And if he did, did he know the occult at the time? Think about using your critical thinking now at this very moment as I go through and narrate this part of the presentation. Use critical thinking now. This guy had the 32 all the way back to high school. So did he, was he given that number? Maybe by his coach who was a fan of the occult? Would that make sense? 
Well, take a look at this. Let me narrate this for you. Here's OJ Simpson's birth card. July 9th is when he was born. Of course, July 9th is 79. That's gold. How much energy did that guy get while he was on trial? Oh boy. You want to talk about lead to gold and the energetic exchange of currency with this guy in the trial and everybody that was involved? Oh my Lord. Now I'm not saying these people didn't get murdered or killed, but I'm just telling you this guy was being owned by voices in his head and he was being used. He, just like Westworld, go watch the movie Westworld and the show Westworld. It's just people being used remotely. And this guy right here, July 9th, is the six diamonds card. Let me just be really transparent. July 9th, here's July, going down to the ninth. Here it is, six diamonds, OJ Simpson. He's got the 32nd card in the deck. He wore the number 32. And as I, I've shown before in other ones, the Pink Floyd had this song come out in 1973 on their great album, Dark Side of the Moon, called Brain Damage. And in that song, David Gilmour said, there's someone in my head, but it's not me. And he mentions lunatic and there's someone in my head, but it's not me. See that it's 32 letters and it's a total of 131 that's tied to this element right here xenon and if you go study this right here there's a flash of creation of course if you watch the movie they live it was news station 54 that was delivering the the hypnotic trance through the news and the broadcasting through the news and the broadcasting and of course 131 is the 32nd prime number the number this guy wore in his jersey this guy was being used his card is 32. He was born on a gold day, and he was born in 1947. 47 is tied to Tetragrammaton, which is the sun, the Israelite God of the Bible. So I got this decode coming out. Let's keep going. This was the album that the song Brain Damage came off of. One of the greatest albums of all time. Look at the label, Harvest, what that word means. And here's the sign. And this, this album came out on March 1st. Of course, the 31. What's 31? It's 56. 56 equals 31. So there it is. More of the soap bopper that we live in. So remember, 56 is 31 in numerology. This is 31 right here. It can be written 3-1 or 13. 13, of course, is tied to the game. But here it is. It's the nine spades. This is the card of death, by the way. This, is, uh, this means death, and it's tied to plutonium. So here's his card, the six diamonds, and here's the card that came attributed to dark side of the moon. And what do you see right there? Well, you see the 69, don't you? It's the yin-yang right there. That's right. Those two cards together. And this guy's tied to that. There's someone in my head, but it's not me. So if you aren't a believer on what I just showed you, maybe perhaps this will get you on the side of this organic code, just using mankind. Here is the dates on the calendar from OJ Simpson's birthday to the release date of Dark Side of the Moon. Not, not doing the years, the years, I'm just talking about the timestamps. March 1st to July 9th, it's 131 days on the calendar, tied to that Xenon, and then you go right back to, there's someone in my head, but it's not me. Folks, think about what I'm showing you here. Think about what I'm showing you here. Press pause and really think about what I'm showing you here with this guy and this album and this band. These people aren't trying to screw you over. They're musicians playing a song, play song, playing songs. I know music has a lot of um, subliminals in it. And I understand that. I'm not debating that. But Pink Floyd wasn't sitting down in 1973 and writing this album for O.J. Simpson, but yet here we are showing the dates and the, the 131 time span in between the day this album comes out and O.J.'s birthday, and it's tied to this 54 and 131. And of course, remember that that 131 is the 32nd prime number, the jersey that O.J. Simpson wore from high school all the way to the pros. How do you wrap your mind around this? How do you describe this? One of the most prolific murder cases. Whether he did it or not, he was obviously let go. I got a deco coming out on him, and I can show. I'm going to be showing his numer his astrology chart, <laughs> and and Nicole and uh, all these people just act, just playing out the roles, and it's not trying to dupe you. They're just being used, just like Pink Floyd and all the other musicians. So what about the length of the song? Three minutes and forty eight seconds. 
You add three plus 48, you're gonna get 51. It's gonna bring you to this element. And oh, what a doozy this one is. It's antimony, antimony. And antimony, of course, when you go to the Royal Society of Chemistry, they're gonna show you a picture of the Egyptian all-seeing eye because antimony, according to them, they used to put antimony sulfide under their eyes in the Egyptian times for as mascara to keep, you know, the women did for, for makeup. And of course, if you study the brain, there's the all-seeing eye. So there's someone in my head, but it's not me. Folks, we have an all-seeing eye inside of our brain. It's called the pineal gland. The little voice in your head, that owns you. Now, you don't have to agree with me on that. Just consider the possibility and everything I've been showing you. Of course, antimony is 28, Lucifer is 28. So let's get into the last topic now, the Fibonacci 56. I think this is my last one. And going right back to the golden ratio. 56, found in the string of the golden ratio, 30 and 31. There's more support. The word scripted in the same cipher now again. I'm not deviating, I'm not mixing and matching. It makes it much easier. To use four different ciphers at one time makes it easier. Stick with one and you'll get much a deeper meaning and a more, a more solid base foundation. Scripted is 30. The new age name of the Israelite God of the Bible, Jehovah equals 30. Santa Claus equals 30. Nazareth equals 30. Demiurge, the Gnostic, Yaldabaoth, their Demiurge is 30. So what do you think is running this reality? It's not man, folks. It's not mankind. So what about the cards that make up the 30 and 31 found through the golden ratio, the 56? Of course, 61 is Prometheum, the Titan who stole fire and gave it to the humans. That's for more in-depth, right? But nonetheless, 30 and 31, here's the 30th card, the four diamonds. Here's the 31st card, the five diamonds. And 45, when you bring them together, it forms the number 45. Pandora's box, again, with the cards. And then... Pandora's is 31, 56 is 31. So I think this, I have a few more slides left, folks. When you say four diamonds and five of diamonds, when you say that numerolo through numerology, you get that 131. OJ Simpson, there's someone in my head, but it's not me. So what's in my head? Well, it's the 56. See, it's lights, camera, action. When you decide, when you incarnate, whatever that looks like, when we incarnate, that's it. It's a contract. And you ain't in control of it. You may think you have control. We, we may have some free will, but obviously you can see what really is controlling everything. It's the voice in your head. And you know, the 131 through the string of pi, it appears at the 1096 decimal digit. That's gold, folks. You see, our thoughts are gold. They're energetic currency. We're being, the Greeks coined it, ambrosia. We're being used for our energetic currency. That's how this works how this works I already, I already showed this one so when we go even further and we take the numerology output of four diamonds five of diamonds found from the um, 30 and 31 from the 56 we get four diamonds is 67 five of diamonds is 64 it's holmium and gadolinium i've already showed these two elements going to the middle to the trusty calculator adding up the uh, atomic weights of these or isotopes of these elements we get the number 322 which I'm not even, that doesn't, I don't even need to address that because most of you should know. And of course, 322 divided by two is 161. That is the golden ratio, by the way. But, you know, 67 is the 19th prime. It's the sun, folks. It's the sun. It's the golden ratio. This is 161 times two. 161 is 1 1.61, the golden ratio. I think it's my last a couple slides here. And then if we take the four diamonds and the five diamonds, we bring them into the tarot, we get the um, four of pentacles, card 68, and then the five of pentacles, card 69, 68 plus 69. Go ahead and get out your calculators. It's going to give you this number right there, 137, going right back to the 56. You see how many layers we go through, but we get right back to pure math and the golden ratio which is the measurement of nature. So nature runs this reality, not man. So going even further, I decided to get into the Fibonacci numbers themselves. And I'm using this website right here. 
uh, right here. It's called zeptomath.com. You can type in any number and find the Fibonacci number that's associated with it. So what is the 30th Fibonacci number since 56 is 30 and 31? It's this right here, 832040, added up at 17. What is 17 tied to? Life, the game of life. What is this telling us? It's coming down and becoming man and playing out a game, being a character down here. Matrix equals 17. Fish equals 17. Gold equals 17. I don't know much more proof people need or support of what I'm showing you, that mankind is living in a movie. We're being used like little actors being controlled remotely. What about the um, 61st digit? adding them up 30 and 31 61st Fibonacci number. And here's the total digits right here. It's the number 53. Those of you that have been paying attention, it's the I am the I am that I am. It's the I. A lot of us say that I am this I am that it's the I. And it's the all seeing eye. And it's through the pineal gland and the third eye. That's how this works, folks. And we live inside of a simulation. So these are my last couple slides. Thanks for sticking with me. We live inside of a simulation. We wear, when you see the sunglasses, it's a match, 35 and simulation. I think the reason why I was supposed to find this, my day of birth, February 4th is the 35th day of the year. But nonetheless, sunglasses is 35. Why do you think all of them in the matrix wore sunglasses? Why did the Terminator wear sunglasses? You start to, and free guy, why they put the glasses on, they live, it's all sunglasses. Sun, it's telling you, you're in a simulation. We're in a movie, wake up. Stop giving your energy to these characters that you don't like. The more you keep talking about them, the more you keep hammering and pushing them against them, the more energy they get. That's how magic works. The very basic principle of magic. So what about the 35 in the string of the golden ratio? <laughs> Look at where it's found. 56 and 57. Lights, camera, action. I mean, I don't know how much more support you need, folks. We live at 56 means simulation. I mean simulation. We live in a simulation. We live in a reality that's not real. It's real to us, but whatever's running it remotely, it's not real to. I told you, go watch Westworld, the original 1973 movie. Go watch Westworld, the HBO series. Get some nuggets from those. Not everything in there is true, but anyway, what about the 35 in the string of pi? We just showed the golden ratio tied to the 56. What about the 35 in the string of pi? Well, it's found at digit nine and 10. And if you add up nine and 10, what do you get? You get the sun. Nine and 10 is 19. 19 is aurum, which is gold. So you, folks, this is all organic code right here. I don't care when you make a deck of cards, you're making the deck of cards because you're owned by the organic code. That's why understanding and figuring out your code is the most important thing you can do to know your true purpose. Woo. So whew, it's late too, but you know, I decided to stay up and do this one because I was, I wanted to get this out before the Super Bowl, uh, 56. And you know, I got my, uh, joining forces with Zach next Sunday, but here it is folks. What did you see? showed a lot of stuff. And, and again, I'm going to continue to say mankind is being used. No matter which outcomes you get, you can point it to so many different things. But ultimately, you can see the organic code playing in the background that runs everything. Man is just a little puppet on strings, mankind. Stop giving your energy to these puppets. Know how magic works. That's really, really important. So I'd love to hear what you saw during this presentation. I think this is probably one of the most important ones I've ever done so far. I have more coming out. I got Superstar Part 3 coming out. But anyway, folks, love to hear what you saw. But that's all I got for today. My name is Logan. This is Decode Your Reality. I thank each and every one of you for all your support. Much love to all of you. Until next time, we'll see you later.